Come here, girls. Come here, girls. <laughs> Bam. Brenda Travis has been dreaming of this day. <laughs> I think these are yours. <laughs> I think they are. Bama. Her family's Bama. beloved basset hounds, Allie and Bama, vanished in 2007 from their home in Tennessee. Last week, Brenda got a phone call from a woman in Georgia asking for her husband. Does he have basset hounds? And I said, well, we used to five and a half years ago. And she goes, well, I have them right here. So there was a long silence and a lot of tears. And then uh, my next question is, are they okay? And she said they're healthy and they're fat. The family's move from Tennessee to Kansas made the reunion even more unexpected. They were delighted to drive to the St. Louis area to pick up their long lost dogs. Thanks. There's, there'll be no way I'll ever be able to say thanks enough, but uh, someday we hope to, to give every one of them a hug and uh, a great appreciation because this is just amazing. Basset hound lover Don Hunt was one of the volunteer drivers who helped to transport the hounds from Georgia to Newtown, a St. Louis suburb. Bama and Allie would never have been reunited with their owners if it hadn't been for one microchip. And this proves that you should get your pets microchipped because if these pets were never microchipped, they would have never been found. In fact, only one of the dogs had an identifying microchip but they had always stuck together. Thank goodness somebody kept them together. So, because uh, they were inseparable before they left our house. Now, their owners intend to be sure the family won't endure any more separations. In Newtown, Betsy Bruce reporting.